This place is amazing. Should I take these? I had no idea. Okay, so I'm heading out to a friend's art exhibition. He's an amazing guy. I've actually shot him um, on my previous, previous, pre on one of my previous street style episodes, and he's a personal friend of mine. I've known him for like pff, ten years, anyway. So he's having um, an exhibition in Brooklyn, and I'm taking you with me. He is, excuse the mess. He's amazing at what he does. The big flamingo kind of dress, I call it, and I've got on an ear cuff. You can see it right there goes all the way around. I got this um, in Narrowsburg in upstate New York and I love it. It's so cool. I just wear one side which is here. That's Majuri. I'm at my thumb and actually all three of these are Majuri earrings. I love these. I wear these all the time. My nails look like crap but that's too bad. Okay. Oh and the bag is mango. Good morning. So another day um, obviously. <laughs> Um, I wanted to actually quickly, what am I doing today? Anyway, I wanted to show you a couple of pieces that I got in from Lily Silk. They kindly sponsored this part of the video. Um, I have been partnering with Lily Silk for, again, a good couple of years now. And I like to work with brands that whose products I wear and use all the time. And Lily Silk is one of them. Um, you've seen me post about their blouses before. I'll put them on the screen for you. They are gorgeous. They are exactly how they look in those pictures. Anyway, so this time I picked up this, this silk set. Everything is 100% mulberry silk. These gorgeous boxer shorts, and I thought they were great. And I got pockets in this stunning, like a kind of sapphire blue color, really rich. And that's why I like a lot of their things as well, because everything's like very kind of sumptuous, uh, luxe kind of looking. So yeah, so I got this matching shirt that goes with it. I mean, I don't think it actually came together. In fact, they didn't, they didn't come together, but I saw the shirt section and then I saw the shorts and then I was like, oh, I like the idea of those two together. So that was my intention. So I thought it was very nice and relaxed. I like the idea of pairing them either together or wearing them um, obviously separate. This would look great with a pair of jeans, wouldn't it? Like this is perfect. Maybe just knot it right here or it's thin enough to be tucked under as well. A pair of like high-waisted jeans. Probably my third or fourth, probably my fourth maybe, Lily Silk blouse um, and I always try to choose colors that I love you know how I feel about blue and browns this is a close-up so you can see a little bit better the quality is is just great and this is another piece I got I'm going to try that on in a moment but I just wanted to show you this first and just show you how luxe and kind of silky it's actually this has come out quite true this is kind of how it looks in person and I like the fact that the shorts have pockets as well it's a nice departure from denim cutoffs, you know, to wear a pair of like shorts like this instead. Put it on with my, um, you know, these, the, the Cecile Bahansen sandals. Since I have this on, I'm going to show you. I like the idea of also leaving it like, I mean, I, if I was wearing like um, a cami underneath or like a tank top, just wearing this almost like, a, like an open shirt. And even over like um, a dress, like a summer dress, maybe you have like a short dress or you've got something where your arms are out and you don't want them to be this is like the perfect piece to like fling on you know it's a nice layering piece it's light and it's a beautiful beautiful finish on it anyway very happy with that um as always with lily silk i do have a code for you i'll link everything obviously below karen b12 is my code just think of b12 vitamins so that's this piece and i'm going to show you the next one now so here's a shirt that i picked up and i really I don't have anything like this at all and I thought this was such a cute piece to pick up because it's got that I don't know there's something very retro 50s I put it on with my denim uh, mini skirt and uh, just a pair of uh, jelly leather sandals I call them jelly sandals because they look like the jelly sandals that I used to wear when I was growing up um, in London very vintage vibes about this and I like how boxy it is right it's not sort of it's different to the other pieces and it reminds me almost like a men's shirt because I have a daisy print shirt that I wear all the time from a vintage shop and it has a lot of like men's 50s and yeah is it 50s like going on vacation they had very boxy cuts to their shirts again everything is silk 100% mulberry silk um and yeah I just thought it was such a great 
perfect classic piece to keep in the wardrobe. This is not going to date, obviously, something like this. This is not based on trend. In fact, nothing that I get from Lily Silk is really based on trends. This is a little bit of a close up so you can see it and i just like the fact that it's short sleeved like i said this is this could not be a more perfect piece to wear in the summertime in fact you know what let me just show you it tucked in hold on all right so that's it just quickly tucked in so you can just have an idea of what it looks like okay and then lastly i just quickly put a little knot in it because this is a typical way that i'll probably wear something like this because as long as the fabric is nice and loose and soft which lily silks are god this light this this light is is, is interesting isn't it i opened the package and got this shirt i instantly thought of something from like a vintage shop when i saw it like i said the codes on the screen karen b12 um i'll link all this stuff below and i picked up as well um, i've always stocked up on these always hold on do you know what it is hold on because i got another one in another color i'm not sure if you could have guessed it but it is another sleeping bonnet is it a bonnet i don't know it's a sleeping cap perfect for my natural hair any naturalistas out there you know we live and die at night by sleeping with these type of things because it just helps cotton is way more um rough on the skin as well as on your hair it dries both out overnight so it's much better to sleep on something that is silk very very comfortable and these are all i literally sleep in at night it's these michael knows trust me and speaking of sleeping at night and making sure there's no friction on your face i thought i would get one of their sleeping masks as well you know the one that covers your eyes it's not a mask it's just a for here i've always wanted one of these this is my first one that I've started to, what well, I'm going to start wearing at night because you know when you watch the old movies, you know what I'm talking about, and it always showed the women when they wake up and they've got like the, they got one of these on and they push it up and <sighs> double up, not just for your hair, but for around your eyes as well, because that's where your skin is the most delicate, so why not? So imagine having silk on your eyes while you're sleeping. So pillows is another thing. The pillowcases from Lily Silk, again, 100% Marbury Silk. Um, I have a couple of already of these in a dark jewel tone color, and I picked up this time for summer, this time of the year anyway. I wanted something that was lighter. It's like the hair cap. It's really gentle on your skin, and your skin is not rubbing and pulling you know, on like say a cotton pillowcase. So this is perfect. The eye mask, the silk hat, and then the pillowcase, and just to look after your skin and look after your hair so it doesn't dry out. So like I said before, the code is left for you below. Karen B12, even I remember that because I just keep thinking of like vitamins um, for 12% anything off of Lily Silk's website. Anyway, anyone who's into like stuff like that, like when you're going to bed and sleeping, you're gonna love this. You do feel the difference in the morning. You don't have like a line in your face, it's like, let me know if you'll actually cave finally and try Lily Silk. Let me just get the rest of my day. God, the light. Let me get the rest of my day started. Okay, so Home Goods. I've never been to Home Goods. I'm watching too many YouTube videos of people going to Home Goods. Of people going to Home Goods. People going to Home Goods. They even talk about how they're finding dupes to restoration hardware. And you know that we like going there for inspiration. So we are going to go to Home Goods today and see what is it, what is it like? I want to see what it's like. I want to see if I'm going to find some bargains there. So we will see. Oh God, we're going on a Saturday. It's probably the worst day. We're going on the worst day of the week. We're going on a Saturday. But anyway, let's just, what do you think, Michael? Do you reckon we'll find anything? It's possible. It's, we're going out to Long Island though. So we're not going to go to like the city. Okay. We will see. Fingers crossed. Right, Bob's discount furniture is over there. We will afterwards pop in there just to see what it's like. I tell you, you just uh, there's a BJ's here. BJ's, isn't that like a Costco? I get it. There it is. Anyway, Home Goods. Oh, there's a Target as well. Target. Target might have stuff. Oh crap! Yeah, I forgot. We're supposed to be looking for Home Goods. Um, keep going. Look, you've got two more sets of traffic lights. Okay. And then... I think they're all part of the shopping mall. Yeah. yeah. This is so American, right? It's like... I don't know. Like, the wide roads. And then you've got, like, these... I don't know how you describe it. Malls. You've got the... Yeah, malls. But outdoor malls. And they're all just spread out. You see what I'm saying? From all the way back there. Can you see them in the distance? You're laughing. I know you're laughing. Because everybody knows. Yeah, but I know, but it's different. When you're, I don't know, it's different. The layout is different. City girl. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm very much, I'm very much a city girl.
Oh my God, Home Goods, we're finally here. This better not disappoint. I've always wanted to come here. Right, we're about to see what it's like. You know what, I better not hype it up. Let me just stay calm and just, you know, keep your expectations low. We're here. I'm so excited. Hold on, look, look, look. Behold. Oh. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Oh my God. I can already see why people make a fuss about home goods. This stuff is brilliant. This is great. Fifty dollars for that. Oh my goodness. Right. I can see that next to the God, look at all this stuff. So much good decor stuff. Oh my goodness, right, I'm definitely leaving this place with something. This place is amazing. Should I take these? I had no idea. I'll take them yeah, take it, take it for now. Bring them back. Okay. I had no idea this place was like, oh God. I had no idea this place was like this. There is so much good stuff here. This is like the outlet version of Restoration Hardware Outlet. <laughs> it's fake, but it's really good for... It's good, I like it. Okay. We'll add a little uh, zen to our backyard. Yes, yes, I like it, take it, take it. Oh wow, I love that. Yeah, cool. definitely. We'll find a place for it out back. <laughs> There's another one. Oh my god, look at these. They're so big. Oh no, this. You can paint these white. That looks like stone. It does look like stone. <gasps> Hang on, that one's $39.99, which is quite big. How much is this one? This is $50. They look good for fifty dollars, man. But where am I going to put it? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know, but I love this. Oh, even these are good. This is cold drinks. Oh, this place is ridiculous. What are you going to do with that? They have a lot of really good home decor stuff here. Like literally, this is all stuff to decorate your home with. I mean, look. Are you not seeing all this? I hope you lot are, because I'm like one-handed with this and just showing you what's here. Talking about this is light. Oh, this is light. Oh my God, you can what would you like use it for? Fruit and veg and stuff like that. Fill it up. God, that's massive. I know. Yeah, it's a bit too big and round, but it is nice though. We we're just in shock at how nice everything is. Now we're sitting on these amazing looking outdoor chairs. And then one ninety nine these chairs. This is so nice. Oh this place is so good. What do you think? Yeah. I like them. It's nice, right? And I like the little matching uh Side table. I didn't even see that. I didn't see this. Oh god. Oh Lord, what are we gonna do? <laughs> We're gonna try everything out at home goods. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh this is so good though. Yeah, let me get a good shot of it here. Yeah, it's great. See this is really pretty. This is only $2.99 handcrafted in the Philippines. Not $2.99, <laughs> $29.99. Oh, it's got a light. Oh, it's for a candle. I like they're just displaying it on the top of the cupboard. 
just to add some warmth. I got another one here. Oh. All right, so this just about fits and we're thinking about taking it. I mean, and the price on it is, how much again? 29.99. That's like great for outside when you want to like set up little tea candles. And put like um, fruit, like lemons and oranges and Definitely stuff. Definitely better, yeah. I think this is really fit. pretty. It's $29. Yeah, it looks like a little art piece. What if you just hang a bulb inside of it? Yeah. You just made your own like pendant. Oh my god, this yeah, is gorgeous. gorgeous. Size too. Oh, this is stunning. Oh my goodness, these are amazing. So which ones? Oh, this is so good. I don't know which one we're going to get. Um, Hang on, do these accent pillows? What are these? I don't know what these are. I just call them oversized bed pillows. Oversized bed pillows, like decoration for the bed. These. It's $39.99. Yeah, two pillows this size. Mm. And they feel so nice. Put like an old Edison bulb inside of that. Mm. You know, get rid of the base and use it as a hanging pendant. Yeah. Oh my god. Basket heaven! Oh, I love how rustic this is.
the shopping cart and he's sanitizing it for us. The new normal. We came, we saw, Hi. we conquered. <laughs> A trolley each. I have to show you all this properly at home. <laughs> By the way, there's now a queue to get into Home Goods. Can you see? They're like controlling how many people can get in, but not too bad for a first time going there. I love this for the bathroom, this basket. I have to say that I'm pretty impressed with um, Home Goods. First time. Okay, so what did you think of it? Best impressions? More home oriented, obviously through the name, but it's like a Target and quality stuff too. Yes, you like anything you have to dig. I was very impressed by a lot of the things, like the design of things. It has the feel of being like high end to some extent, even though it's not. So I think if you choose carefully, then you can really, I think, probably decorate yourself, decorate your home pretty well from there. So I'm really happy with what we got. Literally, look at it right there. This basket <laughs> I love and all those cushions, but I'll show you properly um, later. But, yeah. Barely fit in the mini. But we managed, we managed. Now we're gonna get something to eat, because you know how it is after you've been doing all of this, you need to get something to eat. Hungry. He's hangry. 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 Yeah, he's hangry. Don't get hangry because you don't want to like take it out when you're driving. True. So I was, I was impressed with the outdoor. It does nice stuff. You said nice outdoor, and I like that. Nice outdoor. Yeah. Nice outdoor furniture. Nice outdoor. Just. Things. In general, yeah. yeah. I like those two chairs actually that we sat on. Actually, yeah. we sat, yeah, those were nice. I think the only reason that we didn't like take them, I mean, one is that we don't really need them, but um, the angle of the way it sat back was a little bit too reclined. Too, yeah, it was too reclined. Um, but it was the style of them was really, really nice. There's lines down. Oh, <gasps> from the storm, that car definitely got hit. <laughs> One of Michael's favorite drinks. What are you doing? anniversary it's not yet but oh it's in two days ah. <laughs> you make me think I forgot I was like wait a second today is not the anniversary is I it? know I know Shit. it's the 10th oh, it's God. August the 10th I know it's coming up but it's like oh. damn I'm gonna show you the things that um, came in from oh by the way these flowers are from Michael for um, our anniversary which was on the 10th I think I will show you on another vlog because I have other things that have come in that um, I found for the house. So I'd rather wait and just do them as more things. I, I tell you, I cannot get over home goods. I it's just, ugh. I definitely, definitely am going to go to, if I'm not going to go back to that same one, I'm going to go to another one. In fact, I will. I want to, I already know, I want to go to a completely different one. The light is ridiculous. So I can see what that one is like. So anyway, leave me a comment below if you guys love going to Home Goods, and I think Home Sense is another one you guys have told me on Instagram. I'm a believer. I get it now. I completely understand. Anyway, give this video a thumbs up um, if you enjoyed coming with me on the trip and with Michael to Home Goods. Um, but don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already and become an official member. I look forward to seeing you next week, Friday, and between now and then, I'll talk to you guys on Instagram, Karen Britchick same name i oh, can't wait to just the delivery of other stuff that i have coming not from home goods just from other places anyway
god who would have thought i'd get as excited this light is ridiculous who would have thought i'd get as excited about home decor as i would with fashion and clothes and style are you just as excited with home decor and stuff like that because i tell you that's something that i've really i've noticed since doing this home renovation with michael um from room to room it's something that i've really Mm, I'm as excited and interested in it as I am with fashion and style and all that good stuff. I'll always be into that, but I'm really getting into the like the home decor and stuff. So I'll definitely save for another video, um, not just what we got from Home Goods, but other stuff that we have from other brands which have come in as well, other you know other stores. So I'd rather save that for one video. That'll be much more of an interest to look at. But I think that's everything. Don't forget the code for Lily Silk, Karen B12. See, I just know the name instantly because of the vitamin thing <laughs> all right um that is it i'm gone the hair is back i know i couldn't do the braids it was just too heavy <sighs> i'll see you guys next week friday or on instagram bye just wanted to say thank you for the comments on today's Instagram post. <laughs> thank you very much. Have you seen them yet? No, I haven't. Okay, all right. But I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, so he hasn't seen them yet. But thank you very much. So Why assuming that she's talking my about... I'm scratching my boob. I'll scratch the floor. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. Ooh.